Uh, hello again, Mr. Taylor here. I want to talk about uh, 13.1, example one, find the scale factor of a dilation. We went through uh, quite a bit with these transformations, and I believe now that you're, 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 pr you're in pretty good shape to understanding the difference between the actual four that we went over. Now, what you're going to do in this particular lesson is you're just going to find a scale factor of a dilation. And remember, a dilation is a transformation that carries with it an enlargement or a or, or reduction. And then that is done by what we call a scale factor. And remember, an enlargement says that the figure gets bigger and if the scale factor is whatever reason let's see we get the pen to do its thing if the scale factor is greater than one and if the scale factor is less than one then we have a reduction so we can just put S for scale factor and S for scale factor. So if the scale factor is less than one, we have a reduction. If the scale factor is greater than one, we have an enlargement. And of course, the scale factor is some number, some ratio of number, and that can be a whole number. Remember, let's put it over one, that we're going to multiply the actual uh, coordinates or the vertices of, uh, of the figure. So let's move right along. Uh, as you've seen in the previous two activities, a dilation can produce a large figure or a small figure. And this scale factor describes how the figure is either enlarged or reduced. So the scale factor is the ratio of the length of the image to the corresponding length of the original. Okay. So in Explore Activity 1, we had triangle R, S, T, and R prime, S prime, T prime. And we noticed that R prime, S prime, and T prime was twice the length of R, S, T. So we had a scale factor of 2. In Explore Activity 2, the side lengths of quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime was half of quadrilateral A, B, C, and D, so the scale factor was was 0.5, or we can also be politically correct if we just said one half. Okay. Now, the author gives us a a real life example, and He's going to go through with the steps that we need to do. So, you know, I'll try to help you break these down, but I'm quite sure it'll be, it'll be uh, pretty rewarding for you to do it. But let's just take and see what this step says uh, for this particular problem. So he says, our supply store sells several sizes of drawing triangles. All the dilations of a single basic triangle. The basic triangle and one of its dilations are shown on this grid. So it's actually to find the scale factor of the dilation and they're going to go through the steps. So step one uh, says use the coordinates to find the length of the size of each triangle. So here's a hint. Let's not worry about this part. Okay. Let's just worry about the ones that we can count. So like if I started with triangle ABC, I see from A to C is two units. One, two. So that's exactly two units. So we can, if I could, I'm going to put a two there. And it says from C to B, if I were to count, one, two, three is three units. All right. This is where Somewhat like if you were trying to do Pythagorean. That's, that's what we're trying to do. You're just really not using Pythagorean theorem. But what we're trying to do is just count these sides. Okay, so we got two and three. So what about its corresponding, the corresponding angles, which is 
A prime, C prime. If I counted those, I will get one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put four here. I know they have it here. And if I were to count C prime, B prime, I'll get one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put that there. Now it asks us for step two. It says find the ratio of the corresponding side. So here I'm going to look at the new and the original. And this is what we have here. A prime, C prime is four. That's what we see it. I mean, it's just really there. And AC is 2. So we put the new over the original and we get 4 divided by 2 and simplified gives us 2. Well, let's take a look at uh, the other side. So we have C prime and B prime, we got 6. And C and B, we got three, so we would put the new over the original, and we're going to get six divided by three, which is reduced to two. So that tells us if that is the case, the author says, then we are correct by saying that the scale factor of the dilation is two. Now, here's a little, little note here in blue that I think that you probably need to take a look at. It, it, it could be a little helpful. It says, since the scale factor is the same for all corresponding sides, you can record just two pairs of the side length. Use one pair as a check of the other. Okay, so we could have just did A prime and C prime, but you want to make sure that you check with the, uh, with the other two. Okay, let's keep going. Now, Going back to this particular triangle, number four asks you a question. It says, using that triangle that we just looked at, uh, is the dilation an enlargement or a reduction? And how can you tell? So this is what you want to do. You want to go ahead and go back here and determine, is this an enlargement or a reduction? Remember, this is the original, this is the new. So if, if it's an, you tell me whether it's an enlargement or a reduction, and then number five, if you could uh, also determine what is the scale factor for uh, D, E, G, F, and D prime, E prime, G prime, F prime, or D, E, F, G, however you, you set that up. All right, stop it. Take care of that for me. Come back. Okay. When I go back and look at three, this is the original. And it is actually the side length is smaller than the actual image or the new. So it's an enlargement. Why? Because A prime, B prime, and C prime, as you can see, is larger than triangle ABC. And we said earlier that if it is larger, then the scale factor is greater than 1. Now, what about number 5? Number 5 says we have a scale factor of one half or point five. Well, how do you know that? Why would you say that? Well, this is the original, or should we say the preimage? This is the preimage, and this would be the image or the new. So, which is larger? Okay, so this one is smaller. So if it's smaller, we know that our scale factor must be less than one. 
I mean, that if you knowing that, then it should it shouldn't be that easy. But let's just take a look at a side here. If I went from uh, from D to G, I see one, two, three, four. And if I went from D prime to G prime, I see one, two. Let's go across and do D to E. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. And down here from uh, D prime to G prime, I see one, two, three. So setting this up, I have the new, the original. So I have two over four which is reduced to one half or as a decimal 0 0.5 and then I have 3 divided by 6 which is reduced to one half or as a decimal 0 0.5 so this is where we get our scale factor. All right, any questions, you know you can always uh, uh, hit me up. If not, thank you for watching.